So we talked a little bit about the use of uh, the Nyingma term heruka in art and iconography. And it is really a very large subject and, and quite complicated uh, because we're dealing with so many different uh, deities with so many different names and so many different groupings. And uh, we talked about Guya Garba Tantra and how it's one of the earliest that presents a system of uh, the five wrathful Buddhas, the five Haruka, all with three faces, six arms, uh, wrathful in appearance, uh, sometimes with wings, other times not. Then we have the eight pronouncement Haruka, the Kagye, and uh, there are many, many recognizable uh, figures in the eight Haruka. Uh, and then we have the later revealed treasure traditions, which have also many added Heruka uh, deities, these wrathful male deities. Now, to go back to the, the eight pronouncement deities, the Kagye, really made famous by uh, Nyangro Nima Oser and Guru Chowang. But within this group of eight, we have several that are <clears throat> excuse me, immediately recognizable, such as uh, Vajrakila, uh, we have Hayagriva, we have uh, Yamari, sometimes it's Yamantika. Sometimes these words are used interchangeably, even though they're different words. Um, we have uh, uh, Chemchok uh, Heruka. Now, of the eight pronouncement deities, definitely Hayagriva and Vajrakila are the two most well-known. In, in the Nyingma, the, the, the Yamari cycles are a little bit less well-known, but, but the Hayagriva and Vajrakila are, are, are very, very um, popular, and there's a lot of art uh, to support their popularity. Uh, but the main deity of the eight pronouncements and the main deity of the five wrathful Buddhas is actually, in Sanskrit, Mahotara. Uh, Mahotara in Tibetan is Chemchok, but he can also be called young duck, um, and this creates a lot of, uh, can create confusion, because you can have the identical deity, and then you can have inscriptions on uh, initiation cards or paintings where sometimes it'll say young duck or young duck took, and then other times it says chemchok or chemchok heruka. Uh, so, so there's confusion that can arise just simply from the names that are applied to some of these deities. Now, back to Chemchok, the, the Mahotara in Sanskrit. Chemchok is considered the most important and described by some teachers. The most important form is actually not the three face six armed, it's actually uh, nine faces and 18 arms. So this creates uh, more of a problem because we then have to understand that this Mahotara uh, is also a, a, it's also a very complex deity just in itself. We can find one-faced, two-armed forms, and these are a very simple Haruka. Often you find this at the top of a painting. Then you can find the, uh, the three-faced, six-armed is quite popular, but then we have the nine faces, 18 arms, and then we have 21 faces and 42 arms. So the, these, this is really the breakdown. The one face, two arm you don't find very often. So it's really the three faces, the nine faces, and the 21 faces. This is the main deity of the, of the five uh, wrathful Buddha Harukas uh, uh, from the Gui Garba. This is the main uh, deity of the eight pronouncement deities. So. But the eight pronouncement deities, they all, they all look alike. The only thing that differs is sometimes the color of the body or the hand attributes, and in some very rare uh, occasions, the consort might have uh, multiple arms rather than just two arms. So the deity Mahotara is very important to, uh, to keep in mind because this is actually a, a center point from which to branch out to study the other uh, seven Heruka of the eight pronouncements.